This video is not for the close-minded individuals. The ones who can't take anybody else's opinions except for their own. If you can have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Remember to keep it cute. Keep it mute or get the boot. Ugh. Preparing to funny part to Nina's raw review in three, a two, a one. <laughs> Oh, bitch, I had to use some of this liquid hand soap. It's all right, but bitch, I don't know. Got my asshole itching. I don't know. I thought was some baby powder down there, but bitch, tell y'all, do not try to use this shit right here. If you run out of Ajax, you know what I'm saying? Just use water, all right? Okay. Oh, it missed my skin. Ah, uh, anyway. <laughs> Another raw view of season 16 Oh, RuPaul's Drag Race. So glad to see you. So glad you guys could be here to come to this little uh, thing I call a raw view. But um, but um, but um, but um, but um, uh, uh. How are you guys doing tonight? I hope everything's going well for you. Things are going well for me, darling. I'm just here basking in this ambiance of beauty, dare I say, gorgeousness. <laughs> it's a pity that some of you right now are looking at me, lusting and wanting to be this gorgeous. Oh, darling, it doesn't take much but a little bit of tender care and loving. In the words of a great, great entrepreneur once said, Elay. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Yeah, y'all know how we do here, piggies. All right, welcome back, piggies. Hi, girl. Y'all know how we do it. So yeah, raw view time. Welcome back. Yeah. So these gloves. Ow, get into it really quick, darling. But y'all know how we do it here, Pickies. Okay, keep it cute, keep it mute, or you will get the boot. Okay, because these boots, not these boots, these gloves are going to come off so I can really function. And I got to, tonight I got to finger my baby mama, Taronda. Trust me, I am grossed out just like y'all. But thank God I'm going to take these off and put on my Rubbermaid gloves. I don't want to hurt her. So, we're going to read comments, read tips, read people. And do a Jimmy Wibby. And then watch the show. But yeah, this look. I don't know. This so. Okay, I'm mad. I'm pissed, pissed, pissed. So, I told y'all that I did this mannequin look right. And I was going to do another look to have me like walking into like an old, like, I don't know, Macy something. And then I was going to like, you know, be like shopping. And then I come across this weird, odd looking mannequin. And then I was going to be like trying to check it out and be like, is that real? You know, and then be scared. I deleted it like an effing idiot by accident because I put it on my final cut and deleted my whole library after I did raw view. And the scenes that I wanted to show are deleted. I even did a whole thing where like the mouth opens really wide, like scary looking. And that was the part I was gonna be scared of. 
<sighs> I had a few clips of my phone, but that's what y'all saw. But it's supposed to be better than that. I'm over it. But what can I say? My life is the universe, God, whatever. Sometimes I feel like it's not on my side. Just being honest. I'm gonna take one glove off, at least one off for now, so I can function. Hey, Robert. Hey, R Pia. If you're serious, I could send you some white sage if you want to smudge away the negative energies from your life. Yes, other people have gotten more opportunities than you lately, but you sometimes have to look at the bright side. Uh, I try to. The other people don't have fans that truly love them. No, they do. They have the fans that love them and the money and the opportunities. <laughs> but thank you for offering, hon. Was kind of gay that too much of the most of the cast didn't know or watch the sound of music. I know. Isn't it gaggy? Worthy? It's so gag. Seriously, it's so like, how could you not? But I'm getting to a point now where I have to realize that I'm not so young anymore and that a lot of people are young, young. And so they wouldn't probably. But I just feel like when I was younger, I was still introduced to a lot of things that was old, you know, and you kind of just knew about the classics. But now these people's classics are stuff like Zeus Network, Baddies. What can I say? Different time, different day. I don't want to mention any names, but one of the queens Nina sent home from on season 9 practices, I think it's pronounced Centuria. I wouldn't be surprised. Someone said, talent show idea for Chucky versus the world. Walk into the stage, look at the judges. Country house music sound on the background. I should have been Black China repeatedly over 10 times. Did you get the memo? I am Black China. Splits. RuPaul laughs, then crowns you at the moment. I think you're one of those storyteller people. I walked my dog this morning, letting anyone with an earshot know that he gave me that kung fu life. I told you, stick with me. You'll know all the lyrics to every song. So on to the uh, says, I hate a yes ma'am person. It's clear he was, or I mean Robert, was agreeing with anything you were saying. Might as well be alone, to be honest. I really hate when y'all do that. Like, I don't hang with people who do that. I don't know if some of y'all just don't have friends who relate to you or y'all have the same kind of thought process at a lot of times and you don't understand. I don't know if y'all want somebody to be on here who's going to argue with me, argue with me and just disagree with everything because that's not real. Sometimes people just have the same thought process. Sometimes some people just relate to what you're saying and happen to share the same thoughts. Doesn't mean that somebody's being a yes man. I think y'all just really want somebody to argue with me for some weird reason. Y'all can't believe that these people actually have the same opinions. Yes, some people do. A lot of people do. And it wasn't like we had the same thoughts on everything. He made his opinions on stuff. I mean, I, I made my opinions on stuff. Y'all really just want somebody to come here and just argue with me. That's all. It's so weird. <laughs> like that's, that's the kind of point of having a friend. Your, your friend, the friends who you have, for the most part, kind of share your same thoughts. That's how y'all kind of become friends, because you have a mutual connection. I'm obsessed with Nina's sayings. Ow. Badan. The uh or aring. It's late. Well, stank. <laughs> I'm putting all that on one shirt. Every day do return to sender prayer. You have to protect yourself from negative energies. Child. Somebody said Robert's energy is infectious. I said, no, just as herpes. Was it good to see you, Pierre? Meh, meh, Rusical, honestly, but Plasm did that. Very well deserved. Two wins alongside Nymphia, feels correct. Was sad to see Megami go. Apparently, taking us to church by taking your heels off is allowed now. Season 14, June, Jubilaya has some words. <laughs> says, this was an amazing Rusical. I don't get Nina's take on it. A lot of people are in agreement. This was amazing. It was an easy story to follow. If you're paying attention, but I don't know, that's just me. Exactly. That's just you. I don't know why y'all get so mad at me for not liking the stuff y'all like. You may thought it was the most beautiful, magical musical you've ever seen. And I may think it's some bull. And that's okay. <laughs> I guess we'd have, we gotta have somebody like you on Raw View to make people be like, see, finally. <laughs> Someone who's gonna get blocked Monday. I won't say any names. They said, I'm kind of sad that the girls can't, can't wear their regular drag clothes. Morphine plain. Because it seems small and cheap, boring compared to these almost carnival looks that everyone else does. Even you wasn't impressed, not because it was bad, but because other girls brought a whole carnival cirque, cirque de la soil, you know, soleil costumes. So there seems no way to impress, not even producers, but public itself. 
you're just wearing regular drag clothes and it could be also very well made and good looking and not costumes for Macy's Parade done by designers. No, it's true. That's where we where we're at now. We're at this point now where like you could have easily got on the earlier seasons and just got your little wardrobe from like Amazon. You know, if there was Amazon, but Fashion Nova, you know, just drag it up some and you would be okay. But now it's like you feel like you're pressured into buying these two thousand, five thousand dollar costumes and it's like for drag race. And it's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> Robert is kind of cute and hot. I've never heard those words put together in one sentence, but that was nice of you. Someone said, I love, love Robert. Can you post the mailing address? of the penitentiary he's incarcerated in so we can send him some decorations to make his jail cell more glamorous. <laughs> it did kind of look like a jail cell because of the bunk beds. <laughs> I think that's all the comments. And I know how because my toe is starting to stick through my stockings. This is for you crazy foot fetish people. Boing, 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 boing. About three of y'all just came with y'all selves secretly. Thank you, Jay Hunnified. Thank you so much for your tip, love. Thank you, Carlos Alva. My mentor. <laughs> I know that was funny when Robert did that. Yeah, she said she's broke right now. You did give me 97 cents, so I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> but she said, let me collect my coins. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> thank you, Carlos Alva, as always. Thank you, Ryan, oh, for paying reparations. Bad done. Bad done. Everybody who's not black, bad done. We have a couple of more days to go until Black History Month is over. Bad done. It was Jimmy Neutron from Nickelodeon who discovered the Underground Railroad. That was where he met Rosa Parks. And they both discovered Harriet Tubman on the Disney Channel. And then that was the day that they got together and created BET. Just a little Black History Month knowledge for you. Bow down. Tip for your ancestors and pay reparations. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Robert Ean, for being the better Robert. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Doug, for paying reparations. Thank you, Austin Martin. Happy late. Mm-hmm. He said, but, but what's going to happen when Black History Month is over and you can't tell people to bow down anymore? Then they're going to bow up. Thank you, Thomas Gigolo. Not... Thank you for the Valentine's look. I'm so fat and lonely. Is that why your last name's Gigolo? Because you jiggle. I thought it was because you were a gigolo who like prostitutes. The more you learn by Janae Thompson. Thank you, Michael Hicks. <laughs> Thank you, Richard Matchman, as always. Thank you, John Lucchetti. Says K. Michelle or Beyonce's country music. Neither. Oh. Um, <laughs> but poor K. Michelle. But she's winning, though. She's in another Lifetime movie. Thank you, Teresa Love. Can I always thought Climb Every Mountain gave very white um, Methodist church too. <laughs> Thank you, Foster Roosh. Not Nina Presents Black History Month edition. <laughs> Thank you, Jim W. Thank you for being me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Ryan. If I pay her, she won't be mean to me. Boy, whatever. You be coming to the Twitch just out of nowhere, out of the blue. But like, where the hell you been? You still here? But thank you. Thank you, Steve Gonzalez. For all your Mexican ancestors, bow down. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bravet. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jay Star. And thank you, Demetrius Leggett, for having legs still. Thank you guys for all your wonderful tipping. I mean, it should be more because technically I am doing two raw views. But I guess the UK versus the world people are cheap. Uh <laughs> But thank you, no, thank y'all for real. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for just being here. Thank y'all for helping when you can. Thank y'all for liking and subscribing, hopefully. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to jamming with B. So there was two songs that I had in my mind, right? But I'm going to do Tom's Diner. Even though I think y'all probably saw the little video I made in the beginning, but I'm going to do Tom's Diner because this look is, is very much giving that. So this jam with P is Tom's Diner by Suzanne... Vega. No relations to Vega from Street Fighter. So here we go. This this look really is the vibe of that song. Some of y'all some of y'all some of my true stankin' piggies. The ones who be at the bottom of the pig pen with all the mud in between their toes. Y'all know when I did my Nickelodeon skit video and I did my Judy Funny look and I made the hit song called Papa Duda. Look, my hand's black. 
Papa Duda, Papa Duda, Papa Duda, Papa Duda, Papa Duda. Ow. I wonder what her style was, because this is very like, she's that white girl who's cool with the black people. And it gets very much sitting in Starbucks, pretending to be doing work on a laptop, but she's really on Grinder in a nice suit. Very that. Or at a little jazz bar. A little like, you know, jazz bar where like they read like poetry and you're snapping your fingers. Very that. Now they put a beat with her. Ow. Like, I don't know what she's talking about. Why are you at the diner? Why is the man pouring you coffee? But why is he staring out the window? Who is Tom? Why are you there? Like, she's just saying things. But somehow, we're all connected and, like, we want to know the end result. And then for her making the most simplest, simplest chorus. Ow. I love what she says. Instead, I pour the milk. She made sure you heard all the K's at the end of her throat. And make sure I pour my milk. What the heck is she talking about? Who's the actor? Why are you still pouring milk? And why did a lady come and shaking her umbrella? Who is the lady? What is happening? I'm acting. And she read her funnies. I missed. I used to read the funnies for real. Some of them for like Garfield and stuff and all like. Remember those days when you were actually going to comic, go in a newspaper and, and like pull out the comics? Do they even still make comics in the newspapers? Why are you watching this random lady straighten up her stockings? But how's her hair wet when you just said earlier she came in with an umbrella and was shaking the umbrella? Now her hair is wet and she's pulling up her stockings? You, you know what? Suzanne, you're nosy. You're a nosy white lady. If you would mind your damn business, you wouldn't see all this stuff going on in the diner. Mind your business and pour that damn milk. Just nosy. Ah, I'll live for that part though. Do the bells of the cathedral. I am thinking of your voice. Well, that has been da 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 Girl, does Suzanne have any other hit songs? Or is that only her only one? Because I only know her for that song. To be fair, I've never tried to listen to her album, but that's all I can remember them playing from her is that song right there. That's it. But anyway, that has been Suzanne Vega, Tom's Diner, and that's been Jammin' with Pierre. And that's been Jammin' with Pierre. Now let's get to the show. Ho. Oh. <laughs> she said, I don't need that to win. Hi, Yak be Hindu Ishanama. Murphy, you didn't even like her. Oh. <laughs> well. Now, I told y'all she messy and reads. Don't buy that shy act. I told y'all. I think Morphine would have done an unbelievable job as well. Um, I'm here, and the girls are being messy. I'm just, I'm taking off my pads so my dangling can breathe. We are down from 14 to 9, which is wild. He's saying that like, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Can y'all get, get down to one? <laughs> well, it actually happened before the raise. Oh. Oh. Somebody said, what kind of story out of nowhere? It's no drama going on in this season, so they got make up drama, mom. That's like Kimura with me during um, the reunion. I don't know where. He said things about me online. Girl, what the hell they gotta do with the show? Uh, what happened on the show? Nothing. Damn. <laughs> Your name should be Dusk because you look better in the dark. That was kind of funny. <laughs> if Danny DeVito could do flip. Hmm. But no. No. Maya and Danny DeVito? No. Dumb bitch, but I'm not because I want to f*** you. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh, where were you on January 6th? <laughs> Everybody's laughing, but I'm like, I don't get it. Who's that? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. 
I don't get it. The better joke would have been, not not, who's there? Banana, banana doo doo. Ugh, ah. Really into astrology. You know what, in the parachute outfit, does she have, does she, does she have on? Plain <laughs> Jane is so dumb. She's ready for her. Wait till we say, how dumb is she? Of the season and the body. Oh. <laughs> she said what needed to be said. <laughs> and that beard growing out of your face. Oh. <laughs> no, okay. You kind of look, you're losing it now. Calm down. <laughs> it's not me winning the reading challenge. So now you won? It's been a slow night. But congrats, bitch. So they are on the snatch game, honey, where you snatch crowns, honey. Girl, let's see. Treasure of the American Musical Theater, Patti Lupone. Oh, now that she said you'll do Patti LaBelle, I'm like, girl? <laughs> but I would like to see something different from Plasma. Wait, not the elf girl telling Plasma to do something different. Mmm. Ain't Chad sound tired? Hey, babes. Ooh, that was a wet one. Excuse me. No, actually, I'm going <laughs> Tiffany Parlor, New York. Not another Tiffany. Well, <laughs> hopefully this one is better because the other one wasn't that good either. I don't see Maya doing her at all physically, but whatever. I'm having doubts on the character. She should do Esther Roll. I see that more for her. Does the gold tooth fairy actually exist in reality? No, maybe. So she's making up a character, the gold tooth fairy. <laughs> so it's me, a hood tooth fairy that steals your gold teeth. It's basically the leprechaun's wife. Is it a cape? It's a cape. Are you James Brown? I'm James. Nice says it's my underwear. And not James Brown. Oh my God, this will be funny. Because he kind of does look like him. <laughs> you only have three more chances. So if Jane doesn't use her immunity potion soon, she has three more, I guess three more episodes to use it. And if not, it expires. Like my condoms. Special skills include sword. I feel like this season been lacking on like judges. Yeah, they cut the budget. It's a pleasure coming here from the fairy world. So far, this sounds just like herself. <laughs> I'm like thinking about, I'm thinking I want to hear a, hear a different kind of voice. I'm like, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> this is racist. And on Black History Month. Mm -mm -mm. But at least she has a, a, it's a, lot, it's a lot of white, but she definitely did a transformation. Daughter, conservative I don't see Megan McCain. She was honestly better off doing like Alicia Silverstone and Clueless. <laughs> I'm getting more so sheer and Clueless. But I'm also happy that this is probably the most normal we've seen her. <laughs> That's trauma, baby. Megan doesn't talk that though. At all. Hey, do you remember the first song you... Girl. <laughs> what in James Brown transitioning? So I'm assuming it's supposed to be like part two of Little Richard of Kenny Davenport. Let's see. The song I wrote was a little ditty that I did when I was in prison. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the singing kind of did sound like him. <laughs> what are you vowing? You look poor. No shade, but these characters so far that, that they chose. <laughs> Except for maybe James Brown, just like, could they have not chose some more interesting people? Girl, in the house, in the but you know, RuPaul likes when the black girls act ghetto, so. And that dang breastplate, Jesus. Girl, what in the Fisher Price ages two to five breastplate? <laughs> Miami and I stand on Pork and Beans Project. With the Not Pork and Beans Project. <laughs> I wrote that Lady Bunny's been recycling her diseases for gear. Oh. Not recycling diseases. <laughs> silicone, cause just like plastic and paper, silicone is all I think she's serious. Over there. Right. Not you, James Brown. Not you. Not yours. <laughs> you are a very ugly man. <laughs> I break it. You keep your dollar bills mixed with your teeth. She really could have made this character into something, a di something, some different accent, something to much more. Just, just like it's just you in a Baps wig and go teeth. <laughs> Clocked. <laughs> it's Kamora's funky monkey. Yeah, something really happened to Nymphia when she was younger. I don't know if she got into a fight with a monkey. I don't know if she ate too many bananas, but something is something is something there. Oh, I was here to give a talk. Oh no, you're not. Okay. Oh. <laughs> In other words, shut up. 
<laughs> Not writing ill on the card <laughs> and pointing it down. <laughs> and the winner is non Okay, so I was bored. I I mean I guess you could say Plain and um Safira carried it, I guess. And then maybe Plasma coming in afterwards. I just feel like this definitely was not one of the strongest Snatch games. And so again, I think the character choices could have been maybe a little different. I'm sure, yeah, no, I, I'm not even sure if you're in the middle for me either. Oh. <laughs> they said Safira's really honest. I guess she really is. What if I go? Then you go. You won't. Not then you go. <laughs> well. Straight because the worst thing I could hear about my son is that he's dead. Okay, the mom was sitting for that. That's a mom that deserved to get her cooter cat ate by someone else. It is. Ah, RuPaul, you going to go work out? You going to a ball? You going to da dance with, with the stars? You going to Olive Garden? Where are you going in this outfit? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I'm telling y'all, RuPaul is, has either ran out of clothes <laughs> and they're just getting things and like putting them together and being like, okay, we'll call this Gladiator on Ice, right? <laughs> but something about it I kind of like besides the shoes. <laughs> I actually think I, I think I actually like the wig this time. I'll put it on layaway. Serving the robot. So the category is Dancing Queen? I don't get it. It doesn't really give me Q at all. It's not that it's bad. I wouldn't wear it. Um, but it's not bad. But I, don't, but I also don't really like it that much. Oh, it's dresses based off of dance styles. Oh, based off of dances. Oh, so the robot. Okay. Yeah, they're really trying to be creative now. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll still just like... Walk past it in the store. In the future, robots will dance like white folks. <laughs> now that's the RuPaul I know. <laughs> Muse, serving salsa. Ow. I mean, like, it's simple, but effective. I'm going to rent this. Actually, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I love the way it moves. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I don't know what this dance is, but I guess I'll rent it because, I mean, it's different. Of doing polka dancing, so we have a big. Well, she's back to the face. Um, I mean, it is giving, I guess, what the polka dance is <clears throat> or, or, or look, but <clears throat> I don't really care for it, so I'm gonna pass on it. Major rat. Yeah, come on, drumline. Drag you. <laughs> they are letting the girls speak on stage. I, I, I know what she's doing, but she, it, the body proportions for me are just like a little Papa Sabus. Your Papa Sabus. Um, I'm gonna rent the idea. I appreciate what she's doing, but I don't know. I, I need time to think about it. Who is the spin-off of Drag Race where Drag Race alumni... I want to tell you, these queens are really kissing their butt, RuPaul's butts this, this, this season. <laughs> they really are. Dance. These taps are not dubbed. I am legitimately... Oh, see, it's funny because somebody allegedly that's on the next season that might be on there tap dances, but look at Plasma doing it first. Oh. <laughs> 
Um, I wouldn't know this was a tap dancing outfit, but I mean it's okay. I'll rent it. Yeah, tonight is really for me. For me, tonight is a eh kind of night for this episode. Like it's just like the snatch game, the runway so far. I'm just like, yeah. It doesn't help that my morning breath starting to kick in. So. Hang up with the Joneses, the Catherine Zeta Joneses. I think she looks gorgeous, but I don't like the ladybug print. <laughs> and I feel like I feel like I've seen her do the flip uh, for her her um talent show, but I don't like the ladybug material. I don't the, the pattern. Um, when I think about it, it's just a big old corset in the middle. <laughs> when I think about it, because uh, they make it look a little cheap, the the the, the ladybug stuff. But the face is gorgeous. Uh, I'll rent it, but I'm not gonna keep it. It's like ketchup and mustard had a baby. Girl, I don't call nobody wearing something this ugly in the nineties. No ma'am. Girl, what in the what in the black court jester? Girl, I mean I guess you could say it's kinda of salt and pepper, but this is horrible. Girl, maybe if the arms weren't weren't white, maybe. But no. <laughs> no. Nah. Sesame Child, TLC, and She's naming the people, but if this to be this get this gives more salt and pepper. Push it real good or something like that. Latin ballroom. Oh, there's no So now she's Latin. I thought she was Russian. <laughs> um I like um Tsunamis better. Oh, even though it's, I know it's a different dance, but it, this is I mean it's it's safe. It's cute. I'll rent it. I was a Latin ballroom dancer and if she's a Latin ballroom dancer, she really is a little stiff right now. <laughs> Maybe it's been a while. And I'm going to be saving this for a rainy day. <laughs> well, now I do do. You're in trouble. The dancing right. shoes. <laughs> oh, now we're wearing the shoes again. <laughs> they stay clocking her shoes. <laughs> they swear they can't hear them. <laughs> Congratulations. You're the winner of the... Plain Jane won. I guess so. They found her funny. The thing is... I don't know who that character is or, or who that person is, so I can't be like, she killed it. Because it could have just been her doing her just simple, slutty Russian thing that she kind of does anyway. So I'm like, I guess she did good, you know, and the runway was cute, I guess. So congratulations. You may join the other girls. Thank you. Um, okay, somebody just said the runway saved her. I'm going to, you could say that, I say producers. Because... So. <laughs> Between her and 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 Morphine, I think she was worse than Morphine. Cause at least RuPaul kind of did laugh at Morphine somewhat, but Nifia definitely was worse than Morphine. So they definitely pulling stunts and shenanigans. Oh, you know what's funny? I'm actually gonna do. I don't think I ever done my Whitney look for. Like I know I done. I think I done one for a Raw View. I don't know. I don't know if I did my. It's not right. It's not. But it's okay. Look, but I haven't done my. I want to dance with my grandpa. I want to make love to my grandpa. I think I'm gonna do that look again. I haven't done it in a while. You know that look, the infamous look when that little white child was chasing me, trying to tip me. I didn't see her. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that look for for raw view. Ah, Morphe's ready. Oh, what the hell is she doing? Dang, her fingers look scary. Girl, what kind of demon? <laughs> how? Wait, how's her fingers doing that? I'm trying. I'm trying to do it now. How are her fingers not need? That's some Illuminati stuff. <laughs> Somebody said, <laughs> a white people bones. <laughs> Morphe was just serving me faces now, though. Ow. See if. If Tsunami was smart, she would have let that thing hit her and then act like it knocked her over and then sued. I wonder if she's doing too much for the song, but then somehow it kind of goes. So, yeah. Oh. Ow. That gave me so much joy. We are just trying to. That's Tsunami's like, okay, let my hand go now, bitch. Let my hand go. Okay, okay. it was cute at first, girl. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was. What kind of quick little feet? <laughs> and did she have to do this part for the song? That was Lebanese. Right, she's doing too much now a little bit. <laughs> but okay. Morphine. 
Shantae, you stay. I guess I agree, because she was, like, especially in the, in the beginning part, she was giving me faith with the words. I was like, yes. Or they could have done a double Shantae, but thank God they didn't, because Lord knows, this season already long enough. Celebrate because I exist. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was deep. That was deep. I didn't even show my best. What are you waiting for? <laughs> well, kitties, what do you guys think of this episode? Personally, I thought it was boring. No shade. I thought it was probably one of the boringest, more snatch games. Um, the runway was just a runway. Tsunami kind of lasted longer than I thought she would, to be honest. <laughs> uh, she did leave on a good note. She looked really pretty, and she looked good. And um, the, the lip, she didn't do a bad, good, a bad job lip syncing. Congrats to Morphine for her win. And yeah, let me know what y'all think down below. And thank y'all for watching another Raw View. And remember to stay beat to stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi, ta-ta.